Hi guys, it's me again, Jimmy McIntyre. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can make our cityscapes a little bit more vibrant. Most of us have been in a situation where you're taking a photo of an incredible sunset um, and it looks wonderful in camera and when you get home, sometimes the city looks a little bit flat in contrast to that vibrant sky. This tutorial, um, we're going to be concentrating on Lighten, the blend mode Lighten. This is the third tutorial I've done showing how we can use this blend mode. It's one of my favorite functions in Photoshop. Believe it or not, um, this image is composed of two separate images, um, one for the lights and one for everything else. It actually only takes a second to merge the two images to get this result. Um, we're not going to look at how to create the full image with the contrast adjustments. We're just going to look at that blending process and I'll show you how easy it is. So these are the original images that we're going to work with. If we just drag them into Photoshop and I'm not going to do anything in um, Adobe Camera Raw. Usually I would. I'd do lens correction, profile and remove chromatic aberration. But this time around, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to miss that out. So we're loading these up. Now, as you can see, this is the um, main exposure. It's very, very dark. Um, it's got everything I need. I didn't use um, HDR processing in this because there's just very little contrast in the scene. It really isn't necessary. Um, this is where the city lights are gonna come from. So I'm gonna drag that and place it on top of our sunset exposure, and I'm gonna close this. Now, it's very important when you're taking this shot to have some foresight. When you set up your tripod, think about what you want. Do you want to do this process or do you want to try different composures, uh, compositions? Because once you set your tripod down, that's where it has to stay through all the various changes of light. Um, so I put this down just well before sunset. Um, and this was just after sunset. And this is a deep blue hour. So this is probably 15, 20 minutes into the blue hour. In Seattle. Um, now, even though I had my tripod set and, uh, and obviously it was all very um, strong and sturdy, because I forgot my shutter release cable, I had to press the shutter, which means that the camera has moved very, very slightly. So they're not completely lined up. If we go to the blend mode here while having the, the top image selected and click difference, you'll see the edging here. It means they're not aligned. So Although these images look incredibly different, their edges are very similar. So we can press Control and left mouse button on black and the background image, so that'll select both. We go to Edit and Auto Align Layers and just press OK. And Photoshop will line those up for you. If you go to Difference again, we zoom in, you can see all the edging has more or less disappeared. So if we change that back to normal, this is where it happens. This is the almost the end of the tutorial because it's that quick. We just go straight to the blend mode lighten. And there we have it. A flat skyline and now one with vibrancy. It's that easy. It's that quick. The only problem with this particular image for me was that the um, space needle was a little bit too bright. It looked like it was superimposed on there. So I created a mask by pressing this button here went to a brush, black as the color, the foreground color, and I put the opacity at about 28 to 30%. And I just went over it very slightly just to dull it a touch. There we are. And that's it. After that, I then went into color FX and used Pro Contrast and some various other techniques um, to change the contrast adjustments. That's all I did, there was nothing else. Um, and I changed some of the, the color as well through saturation and vibrance in Photoshop. Okay, I hope you found that, that quick tutorial useful. Thank you very much.